Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. Today we're going to be looking at the application object. Specifically, we're going to look at some of the display functions. And we're just going to go ahead and dig in. You notice that i got a split screen here going on. We're in book one. We're going to open up a module. I'm going to call this uh, DSPLY. We're just going to go. And now what we're going to be doing, these, these actually already exist, so we actually don't need to send them to a variable. We're going to go application dot display full screen. equals you'll notice that that shows up and these are boolean which basically means they're either true or false so we're going to display full screen we're going to go true on that and we're going to go application we're actually just going to copy this whole row here we're going to copy that and we're going to make it false we're going to go ahead and hit f8 when i hit f8 this is going to display full screen it's going to get rid of everything it's going to be completely full screen you actually can't even see some of it it's that big I'm gonna hit F8 again and it goes right back to that uh, size now uh, if we do this live so if I hit F5 it's gonna look like it just glitches which you know doesn't actually do the job but if you were if you did need a full screen at some point uh, you could put it full screen true full screen at the end so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go display alerts back here I'm going to go hit dot now if you delete like that and put the dot back in it brings back the IntelliSense so we're going to go to display alerts equals false we're going to turn this false okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two different things so we're going to go sheets sheet 3 dot. I'm just going to delete sheet 3. Okay, so I'm going to hit F8. Application display alerts equals false. Now anytime you turn your alerts off, you are going to want to turn them back on. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm going to hit F8. Notice that sheet 3 is gone. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch this here. We're going to say true. Let me get rid of this. We're going to go sheet 2. I'm going to get F8, F8. We're going to make sure that those display alerts are true. That is the default. So you'll notice that there's my alert. So it's going to say, hey, wait a sec, you're deleting a sheet. So uh, display alerts can be uh, saving. It could be different other different options as well. But display alerts can be nice uh, taking that off because those will stop your code. Um, and especially if you're writing a macro for someone else, it's good to have that off because they'll hit cancel and it can ruin basically the rest of your code. So we're going to do we're going to do a display. And you notice there's a lot of other things in here that you can do, but we're going to display formula bar I actually don't even have that on there but let's let's make that false get rid of this we're gonna make copy this little code right here so let's just run it so I'm gonna hit F8 F8 you'll notice the formula bar disappears I'm gonna hit F5 and I'm gonna change this back to true F5 as well formula bar is back so if we want to get rid of scroll bars Play scroll bars, we have it at true. Let's set it to false. We're going to hit F5. You'll notice scroll bars disappeared. Change this back to true. F5 again, scroll bars are back. There's one other that, one other that was looking in there. Display. Whoa. It was. status bar. I actually don't even know what this is, but let's check it out. So F5. Oh, the status bar is at the bottom. It's this little section down here. So let's bring that back. 
Now, if you're messing with these, you do want to make sure that you put those in and out. Make sure that oftentimes they, their default is true. If you do set those to false, make sure that you set those to true at the end of your code or those will not show up and you can end up confusing people. So that's another, uh, that's some just some display functions. Uh, one other thing I want to show you, we're just going to go application.visible. Okay. Now it's currently set to true. I'm going to set it equal to false. And then we're going to hit it. Okay, so we're going to set that equal to true. I'm going to hit F5. This actually is going to make the whole application disappear. Okay, it's completely gone. F8 is completely back. So what that does is that basically means that the front end, you can actually hide the whole front end of Excel by making it making its visibility equal to false. Uh, kind of a weird, weird code, but if you were running forms, that does that can be very useful. Uh, it's good to know that it even exists. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com. And most importantly, learn VBA.